In this next topic, we're all excited about the Tesla Model 3 Highland refresh, but now there's been a discussion and or rumor that what if this Tesla Model 3 Highland is going to be low $27,000, maybe even $30,000 before incentives and fees like that. So let's walk through it. Let's go through a couple posts that we found to kind of justify and explain why some people are thinking that. But before we do that, if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. So it all kind of started with this. The other day, this Tesla Model 3 interior door card got leaked, and people were speculating, why is this door card just a little bit more of a cheaper feel than the previous versions. You can see that the Tesla interior card used to be an Alcantara like suede type of material. And now we're going to this speed cloth type of material that is commonly found in like cheaper vehicles. So and people are speculating that what if this updated fabric is actually going to be because of cost reductions, which we already knew that, and report because of a different style of interior. So shout out to James Cat on X. I found this post. Quote, so first reaction, this looks cheap regarding the interior. But cheap isn't great for a car starting at $40,000 or even $32,500 after the tax credit. Quote, but then I started thinking, perhaps the rumors that Tesla made price, this below current price is actually credible. After all, a low price paired with upgrades on the battery higher range, computer hardware for, and a refreshed exterior would offer a compelling value proposition as Tesla works both side of the equation. Value equal perceived benefits slash price. So what it's really getting to is what if Tesla is preparing to drop and release a cheaper Model 3 that is going to take over the competition, really undercut all all the different electric vehicles and all the different vehicles so that it really makes it a no-brainer to drive a Tesla Model 3. On top of that, dropping the price of the current one, making it a slam dunk for anybody looking to buy a vehicle because Tesla already knows this. Tesla already knows that their vehicles are pretty expensive, that as interest rates start to go higher, they have to add more discounts out there. And that's why commonly you can see right on the Model 3, there are price discounts anywhere from three, four, even 5000 thousand dollars off couple that with a tesla or fro code just like the one down below in the description you can save another extra 500 to a thousand dollars off and so i found this post from christopher dungeon an avid twitter poster or ex poster about the Tesla news quote calling it now Tesla Model 3 Highland starting price before federal and state incentives 27,490 for real wheel drive I mean that is super low that is definitely super cheap I mean currently he's kind of basing this off of the rumored starting price out of China which is 200 RMB which converted to the US that's $27,637 but we already know that Tesla vehicles are much cheaper in the Chinese market already. So there's going to be some sort of conversion up higher. But what if the starting price of the Tesla Model 3 is going to be in that $37,000 range as it's kind of at right now? If we take a look at the price history charts of Model 3 standard range, the lowest price that the Model 3 standard range has ever been ever was $36,000. 990. So we're kind of already at there with these current inventory discounts, especially if you factor in the Tesla referral code, just like the one down below in the description. So the pricing could get even more aggressive as we get closer to a release. But I really feel like Tesla could price the Model 3 standard range Highland a little bit higher because of all the hype and FOMO, If especially if it comes out in the Chinese markets first. But we'll, we'll leave it to Tesla and let it see because we'll see. I guess I'm more curious on what pricing the Cybertruck is going to be because if Tesla releases this Cybertruck and it undercuts everybody else out there in the competition in terms of the truck market, then it is certainly certainly going to get very, very, very interesting with the Model 3 Highland because if that's Tesla's pricing strategy, then they'll certainly going to try and make waves and take over any of the market share that they've lost and also take over market share for the full entire vehicle market at the end of the day. So let me know what your thoughts on it. Do you think the Model 3 is going to be cheaper than it actually is the current pricing of the Model 3 or do you think it's going to be the same price or do you think it's going to be even more expensive? But we're going to up into the next topic but before we do that this video is actually sponsored by my patreon link 
If you're looking for someone to ask questions about buying a Tesla and how to get the best deal, you can do that at the, my, my Patreon link down below in the description. And after you join, you can schedule a phone call with me where you can ask me any questions about buying a Tesla, selling a Tesla, or even financing a Tesla. And after you join the Patreon, you get a link to my buying guide, which is the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla, some even as low as 2.99 to sub 4%. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description.